And France, while President Hollande is speaking, the country is still up in arms over the full-body burkini swimsuit. Local mayors' decisions to ban them in the name of French values have brought the discussions to the highest levels of government. And in maybe interesting timing, Paris opened a new exhibition dedicated to the bikini. Maya Margit has more on the showcase of the swimsuit that, to remind you, itself caused a huge uproar when it was first introduced back in 1946. Some say burkini, some say bikini. The debate over the wearing of the burkini continues to rage, but now the controversial swimsuit's cousin is also in the spotlight. Paris is celebrating the 70th anniversary of the bikini, the two-piece garment linked to the emancipation of women with a new exhibition. French designer Louis Réal first presented the modern bikini to the public during a beauty contest in 1946. It got its name from the Pacific Atoll, where the U.S. conducted nuclear tests that same year. But at first, the swimming costume, the smallest of its kind, was seen as vulgar. At the time, the bikini was under quite a lot of criticism. Many said that it was indecent, but in any case, it changed women's status. To exhibit oneself in public almost naked, something that had never been seen before, was for me quite revolutionary. Banned on beaches in Italy, France, Belgium and even Germany, it wasn't until the 1970s that the swimsuit became widely accepted. The exhibition in Paris comes as France is caught in a simmering debate over women's swimwear. The country's top administrative court has suspended a ban on burkinis, a full-body swimsuit. For some, burkinis challenge norms over women's rights in relation to religious freedoms. From my point of view, wearing the burkini is a regression. What I fear is that it might evolve in the same way, in a way that isn't favorable to the emancipation of women in France, a country where women have their independence and freedom. Former French President Nicolas Sarkozy vowed to ensure the garment would never be allowed on beaches across the country if he is re-elected. This after Interior Minister Bernard Cazeneuve said such a move would be unconstitutional. We can change the constitution. It's already been changed close to 30 times, so it's not a problem. The question is, should it be our society which adapts to the law, or should the law adapt to society? Despite the official suspension of the ban, many coastal towns have remained defiant vowing to continue fining those wearing the quote-unquote Islamic bathing suit. But rights campaigners and Islamic representatives say the ban should be lifted in order to guarantee fundamental freedoms in France.